Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a content search in Microsoft 365 Compliance Center with required permission. We can use the content search e-discovery tool in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center to search for in-place content such as emails, documents, and instant messaging conversation in our organization. To access the content search page in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, an administrator, compliance officer, or e-discovery manager must be a member of the e-discovery management rule group in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. So first, we have to assign them appropriate permissions to run content search tool. To do so, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You can access Microsoft 365 Admin Center using the URL https colon double slash admin dot microsoft dot com. Once you open Microsoft 365 Admin Center, click on Show All. Then click on Compliance to open Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. In Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, I'm going to click on Permissions. On Permissions and Role page, under Compliance Center, we need to click on Roles. Select eDiscovery Manager role. And then edit eDiscovery permissions that you want to assign to. Here we have a two permissions level. One is eDiscovery Manager. And the second one is eDiscovery Administrator. An eDiscovery Manager can only view and edit cases to which he or she has access. On the other end, an eDiscovery Administrator can view and edit all cases regardless of permissions. Here, I'm going to assign eDiscovery Administrator role to our Global Administrator, Manhar Rakulia. So I'm going to click on Edit in front of eDiscovery Administrator. Then we need to click here, choose eDiscovery Administrator, click on Add, select Manhar Rakulia, click Add, click on Done. Okay, under the list Manhar Rakulia is listed. Then we simply need to click on Save to save the changes. Perfect. Under eDiscovery Administrator, now we can see the name of our administrator, which is Manhar Rakulia. Let me close it. And let me close this uh, web page as well. So I'm going to close Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. After assigning the permission, we need to sign out once. So that's why I have closed Compliance Center tab. And now I'm going to click on Account Manager. And let's sign out from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So after assigning the permission, uh, once you need to sign out and then again, you need to uh, log in back. Okay, it is telling us that it is good idea to close all browser windows. Uh, I'm going to open new tab and let me close this. Let's again access uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center using the URL HTTPS colon double slash admin dot Microsoft dot com. Okay, again, we have access to Microsoft 365 Admin Center using the credential of our global admin, Manhar Rakulia. Now, I'm going to click on Show All. And let's again click on Compliance to open Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. This time, under Solutions, we need to click on Content Search. On the Content Search tab, I'm going to click on New Search. Type a name for the search and optional description that helps you identify this search. Uh, keep in mind that the name of the search must be unique in our organization. Here I'm giving name Clarex Content Search Taste 1. Let's click next. I'm not going to add description. On the location page, choose the content locations that you want to search. We can search in Exchange mailboxes. SharePoint sites and Exchange public folders. 
And for this demo, I'll only select the Exchange mailboxes. So let's turn it on. Okay. And here we have options. So we can choose user, group, or specific team. Fine. I'm going to click next. Here, type a keyword query and add conditions to search query if necessary. Uh, you can enter keyword here. And if you want to add condition, that time click on add condition. And from this options, uh, we can define the condition. Suppose if you want specific keyword in a subject only, that time you just need to select a subject from here. Okay. Okay. Uh, here I'm going to specify the keyword. Email a disclaimer. I want to search all the messages with keyword email a disclaimer. Okay. And if you want to add multiple keywords, select this option and add those keywords here. Fine. Okay. Click next. Uh, review the search setting and if edit is necessary, then you can edit it from here. I'm going to click on submit to start content search. Okay, it is currently submitting. Perfect. New search created successfully. Uh, click on done to close this window. Perfect. We have Clarex content search taste one. And we can see the status is a starting. So we need to wait till it completes the search. And to see the status, uh, you need to click on refresh. So after that, you can see after refreshing, we can still see the status is starting. Now let me again click on refresh. And this time we can see status is changed to completed. To access this content search again, uh, click on that content search. In our case, it is Clarex content search test one. Okay, we have result regarding our content search. Uh, from the result, select any message and confirm that the keyword is highlighted in that message. So let me select the message, the first one. And here we can see uh, we have that keyword in that message, test email for disclaimer. So it is in subject. And we have uh, one more time that keyword in body as well. Okay, and here we have an option to download the original message as well. Uh, let's click on the second message. Perfect. So this is the preview from where we can see the messages that contains that specific keyword. Okay, now I'm going to close it. And if you want to export this result, uh, you can. Uh, for that, let me again click on uh, the search and click on actions. And here we have an option uh, to export this result or export the report. Here, I'm going to select export results. So let's click on it. And then we have uh, options like output options are there. Uh, what you want to export? All items excluding one that have unrecognized format are encrypted or weren't indexed for other reasons. Uh, you can select these options as per your requirement. And then you have an export option that uh, what you want to do with those messages. Uh, you want to export as a one PST for each mailbox or one PST for file containing all the messages or one PST file containing all messages in a single folder. So that's totally up to you. Uh, you can select these options which suits you better. Okay. And here we have options. Uh, you can enable deduplication for exchange content as well. Okay. Uh, select the options uh, which is based for you and then click on export button. Uh, this will create one export report with the name Clarex content search uh, taste one export. And that will be available on this export tab. Fine. Uh, let me close it. And let's go to export tab. Okay. And this is the report which we have generated right now. Let's uh, select it. And here you can see it is under a uh, scheduling. Uh, this is going to take a while to generate that report. And once you have that result, you can download that report by clicking on download result. Okay. Uh, still here we are seeing that we are getting your search result ready for download. And once it is ready, you can download that result to your computer. So I'm not going to wait for that. Uh, we simply we are finishing here. Now I'm going to click on close to close this window. And that concludes the video on how to create a content search 
in Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.